Well, just one last question. I, I heard you uh, remark, I think, that sometimes, given uh, especially some of these confluence of events and everything, but anniversary dates can have this, again, this real extra meaning, real resonance and everything. Um, again, reflecting back 10 years after your, your mom's death uh, on Mother's Day, um, you know, if you could maybe speak to, to folks that have, have, have lost a, a parent more recently, or could, could you reflect on, on what that process has been, kind of how the quality or the, the, the experience with grief changes over the years? And I mean, do you reach a point where, where these days are a little less bittersweet, a little more maybe being able to remember the wonderful things, you know, about your mom? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a funny thing, because it, it, it's sort of like what I said earlier, that I, I, I don't think that it's about having an absence of pain. Yeah. Of, of sadness. I think that that's. I think sadness and pain are appropriate. It's appropriate if you've lost someone you love who's central to your life that you miss them and that you feel sad about missing them. I think that's entirely appropriate. Mm-hmm. Um, at the same time, it, it was never the case where I didn't remember good things. Um, but I will say that for me, the, mo- the, 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 the most difficult moment, uh, aside from the, the, the moment of her passing itself, was the first year, the first anniversary. That something about that day just really it just hit me extra hard and you know if 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 any of your listeners are out there and that's happening for them I mean I, I just have faith that it you that 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 hardest of it will pass yeah um the the intensity of it tends to lessen over time um, but at the same time I, I let it you have to let it pass it, you can't stave it off you can't shove it away it will come it will come anyway it, it, it'll get you in the end I mean I don't mean to sound like a doom and gloom about it but it's just the nature of the it's just the nature of grief I certainly don't um, listen to those folks that think that somehow it's supposed to be over in a certain period of time or yeah, I mean it, it's, and it's different for everyone and yeah I mean I was talking somebody recommended that I do this years ago and I did and it was it was meaningful was um, write a letter mm. your relationship with the people who are gone is not over because you're still here so you can still communicate and, uh, and whether or not you believe in an afterlife I don't know I mean again for me that carries out on that and I don't know if she could read my letter I don't know but that I could still express things to her yeah. and 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 communicate and so if I mean, just even even if it's even if it is no more than an exercise, it still can be a very powerful exercise. Although you might also believe that they can hear. I mean, I don't know. You know, I I believe that. I mean, I know that after she died, I had dreams in which I was talking to her very directly. And again, I don't know if that's really her spirit that I'm talking to or not, or if it's just my subconscious. Who knows? But at the same time, it it did bring a certain sense of connection and comfort. So I'll take it. Yeah. You know. Well, I, I also think the jury's out, but, but you do have this tangible sense, though, of your mom being a very real part of who you are, and that's just a wonderful thing to be able to, to experience and remember from time to time. Yes. And, it's, and it, does, it does alter. I think, the intent, like I said, the intensity of it alters over the years, but at the same time, I mean, I think one of the things my friend Sai said to me when it was all happening was, I, I was like, my, I feel. I mean, I really felt like palpably, physically, my heart was breaking. I felt that happening. So, and she said, "Yes, well, hearts break open when they break." Mm. And I do feel like my heart is more open ultimately because of all of this, and I'm able to be more affected by things and and have more compassion than I did before, et cetera, et cetera. So, those are some of the gifts that can come from from profound loss. Right. You know, some people you can either shut down and 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 make your heart smaller from it and be because of, out of fear, or you can let it happen and and open up from it. So yeah. Well, that's a wonderful note to end on. Thank you so much for spending time Welcome. with us today. Thank All you very much. There is no future, there is no past Thank God this moment's not the last